This is Lexi Henry with your News in 90. Billboards are up along I-75 in Gainesville and Fort Myers, warning consumers against buying milk. This comes as two videos taken in Florida show dairy cows being treated inhumanely. The group that purchased the billboards hoped to move people away from cow's milk to plant-based options, and it points to undercover video of animal abuse at two South Florida dairies. One arrest has been made after the abuse video became public. Warrants are out for three others who worked at the same dairy. The Gainesville LGBTQ community is gathering tonight at the Bodesley Plaza to honor lost transgender lives. Transgender Day of Remembrance seeks to honor lives lost to anti-transgender violence. The first day of remembrance took place almost 20 years ago, according to Human Rights Campaign. 2017's death will be a record. Advocates say their count is up to 25. So far this year, the Gainesville event will feature guest speakers, performers, and a candlelight vigil. The event begins tonight at 7 at Bodley Plaza in downtown Gainesville. A leader of one of the most notorious mass murders in U.S. history has died. Charles Manson, the cult leader who dispatched his followers to commit a series of Hollywood murders back in 1969, has died. He passed away in the hospital last night due to natural causes. Manson was convicted in 1971 for ordering his followers to kill seven people over two nights in the Hollywood Hills. Manson was originally sentenced to death, but had his sentence commuted to life in prison when California briefly abolished the death penalty. The Cincinnati, Ohio native was 83 years old. That's your news in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.